Oh, hello, everybody. Welcome to the tea. It's Friday. No, not yet. Almost. We're almost there. You almost made it, people. But what's great about today is everything. My name is Jeremy Hassel, and here at Wet Paint, we talk about celebrities. We talk to celebrities, and we want to hear what you guys think about it. That's why we have this show every day at 3 p.m. And there's so much to talk about. I mean, when you sip the tea, you think about so many things. When you think of people and stars, you think, look at that hair. This is my man, Daniel. You might know him from The Bachelor at Bachelor in Paradise. He's a bachelor in real life. What's up, Daniel? How's it going? Thanks for having me. Oh, man, thanks for calling in today. Where are you calling us from? Uh, Vancouver, British Columbia, up in Canada. All right, all right. Um, you guys have questions for Daniel? Guess what? It's live. You can ask him anything. Like, look like this. Daniel, what would you have for breakfast? I had oatmeal with blueberries, um, some Greek yogurt. I just ate again, though, so, I mean, I'm always eating. <laughs> you see, that's right. But, guys, to look like that, you got to eat that. I mean, Christina, did you have your yogurt today? Um, I have like a protein bar for breakfast, but um, I have a lot I want to ask Daniel about. So should I just get oh, right into it or you want to go around? <laughs> Hold on. Let me get some more people in. We're going to get you, Daniel. Okay. So you're not yet in case you guys didn't know. Almost. We're almost there. And uh, who else do I going to mess with here? I got, oh, my God. So many people. I got um, a superstar you guys will be talking about every day after tonight. This is <laughs> Ashley. I'm telling the truth, Ashley. She's already got her tea. She is so professional. Oh, my <laughs> As you guys know, she's in a new show on the CW called Riverdale, starring as Josie. They we're going to hear a lot about that. Ooh, I'm excited. Ashley, are you excited for what's going to happen right now? Um, I am, because I didn't know that y'all were going to have cute people on the show. Daniel is very cute. Uh, oh, yeah. do you see that? I got to cut this off now. It's getting too serious. See that, Daniel? <laughs> It's already getting wild, Christina. I'm just starting now. Do you see where we're at? And then I see over here, um, calling us from a way across the pond, one of the biggest fashionistas and stylists you know online. Nisha, where are you calling us from? Dubai, right now. Dude, so it's, it's 12 o'clock. Most people are probably sleeping, but yeah. I'm wide awake talking to you with my lit to nice tea. <laughs> She's got lifted. Okay, I see you. And who's that in your lap? What do we got here? Oh, Dolce. He's... Um, Starting to get his own account now, but he kind of gate crushes everything I do, so I had no choice but to get him involved. Dolce is okay. beautiful. Oh my god, Dolce even waved? You way too trained. That Dolce is ready for the spotlight, trying to steal my shine. It's my show, Dolce. Stop it, stop it. And also, my buddy from In Touch Weekly, Hillary, thank you. Last minute, I'm so happy you made it. How are you feeling today? I'm doing good. How are you doing? I am good. Where are you in the world right now? I'm in New York City. Of course yeah. she is. She's around the corner. You should come hang out sometime. We got to get you over here soon. Oh, Do you absolutely. have any questions? Do you have any questions for Daniel, Hillary? Hmm. I don't know, Daniel. I was gonna ask if he's still single, but you kind of already answered that for me. Oh, wait. We're gonna wait. Wait. See. Um. All right, guys. Okay, guys. We are unleashed. Here we go. Now we got a lot of topics to talk about as well. Uh, I gotta let Christina rein in right here. Christina, what are some topics in my paint we should talk about today? Well, we have some updates about Selena Gomez and The Weeknd. They were spotted out together last night at David Buster's. They are now following each other on Instagram, so, like, basically they're engaged. No, I'm just kidding. But um, Bella Hadid is posting her own stuff on Instagram, and she went out the other night with a very, very sheer dress that you could uh, see her nipples in. So that's, I guess, her way of getting revenge. And uh, we're also talking about Drake having dinner with a porn star in Amsterdam. Like, what does that mean for his relationship with J-Lo? Oh, is that going to really bring down the reins? I don't know. I don't know. We're, we're going to find out. And also, uh, I was reading before, right before we started on WebPen, I was looking at the brand Zelina. W what the heck is going on here? Yeah, they're probably not too thrilled about this. Ian Halperin is doing a documentary about their breakup, and he's the same guy who did the Michael Jackson documentary. He's been doing research on them for years, and apparently one of the things in the documentary that he's revealing is that they were separated for a year before we knew about this. So I'm sure Brangelina is not happy that they're going to have their laundry aired again after they just finalized their divorce. Wow. I mean, it's not safe out here. I mean, for all you celebrities, people, people like Ian are going to find you. But while you guys, one of my favorite parts of my job is putting Christina on the hot seat, as I always do. Um, so with, with actually uh, Bella wearing that revealing dress and showing more of her body, would Christina ever wear a dress that revealed uh, certain parts of the chest area? I don't think it's my style personally. I know it's, you know, high fashion, Dior, haute couture. I personally am not going to walk out of the house with showing that much. 
But that's just me. I mean, good for her. She's doing her thing. And I mean, I guess that's one way to get your ex's attention. <laughs> yes. Yeah, Christina, you're, you're absolutely right. Ashley, is this something that Ashley will do on a carpet soon? Oh, mm -mm, no. Um, <laughs> I, mean, I don't mind, you know, showing like the boob meat. But once you get to that areola section, that's only for mine and whoever's going to bed with me. That's not for everybody to see. I don't mm -mm, No, I don't do that. I no. <laughs> Oh, okay. So that's two no's. I tried to get started. Ashley, I think Nisha might do it. She pushes boundaries. Nisha, could this be you? <laughs> no. You do realize I live in the Middle East, right? So <laughs> the answer, no way. That's not me. No. I mean, hats off to her for doing it, but yeah, no, I wouldn't. No. That's not gonna, no. That, that's not going to fly around the neighborhood. I understood. Okay. I understood. I can. Your style, maybe? <laughs> <laughs> we're gonna. We're, we're, it is, guys. We are live. Anything can happen. Where do I go? Where do I begin? I'm excited today. Let me talk to my boy Daniel. Got to have my other guy on to talk to you now. Daniel, before I even get into you, um, what would happen? Uh, would you actually be if you saw, you know, I mean, a different girl wearing an outfit such as revealing as that? Do you find that sexy? With, with that being seen, that much being out. Um, yeah, she, I mean, she's a good-looking girl, obviously, and she looks good in it, but I find it's a little too much, maybe asking for too much attention, and, you know, you don't leave much to the imagination. Um, it's almost like just being naked. Uh, that being said, if she, you know, asks me to go on a date, I'm not going to say no. <laughs> Don't you love when the truth happens? Cheryl, you see what's going on here. Um, I already got the other ladies, but Cheryl, as I see the ombre going in your hair, you're very fashion forward too. Would this happen? Would this look be yours? I mean, if I had Bella's body, then yeah, I would definitely rock it. But you know, not not in my normal day to day life. I, I wouldn't be seen out in a dress like that. Like Daniel said, doesn't leave much to the imagination. And by the way, Daniel, I feel like we're getting you so many dates already. I feel like, you know, this is like matchmaking for Daniel today. It's awesome. <laughs> not that you need help, but you know. <laughs> this is what happens. You never know, Daniel. There's ladies everywhere. Look, at there's a party right here. It's Asia. Oh, my God. What's up, woman? Yes. Well, if you're asking me if my nipples will be out anytime soon, the answer is yes, Lord willing. I mean, I'm team free the nipple. It, a nipple is a nipple is a nipple. I mean, w women have them, men have them, cats, dogs, and everybody can show theirs but women. So I'm all for it. But the real tea is not her nipples, but the fact that she was with the ASAP mog with ASAP Rocky and ASAP Ferg with her nipples out. Okay, Bella, we see you trying to get another black man on your team. Hats off. <laughs> <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the tea. And Christina, while I have Daniel here, let's put him on the hot seat. Go. So, Daniel, I was wondering if you have talked to Nick at all. I know you guys were on Bachelor in Paradise together. And one, just wondering if you're kept in touch with him and how he's doing. And two, how do you think he's doing as The Bachelor? What do you think of the ladies? Um, I actually haven't spoken with him probably since maybe September. Um, you know, he's got a busy life right now and whatnot. We are never best buds beforehand, but, you know, we got along during the show. Um, that being said, how I think he's doing, um, <laughs> I don't think the show is helping his, you know, helping him right now. I think it's either neutral or negative, you know, obviously by keeping Corinne around and by not dealing with um, that girl that he hooked up with, you know, nine months ago. I think it's been a little awkward, to say the least. And, um, you know, I've talked with other friends about, you know, how's Nick doing and whatnot. And they're like, oh, you know, it's not helping, it's not helping him. But, you know, I think things will probably turn around and uh, things will work out for him, hopefully for the best. We'll see. All right. And Daniel, since you being on the Bachelor uh, entire franchise, what's the craziest fan interaction? Has anyone ever like randomly come to like an airport or like at Burger King? Has someone like been like, yo, I love you. Any of the things ever happened to you? Um, yeah, you get that quite a bit, actually. Airports, the streets, anywhere, basically. You always get that sort of thing. Um, the one that gets me sometimes is when girls are, like, crying. <laughs> I get that sometimes when girls start crying because they're just so, like, I don't know, in, in shock. Um, you know, or once in a while, what's kind of creepy is, like, I've had people, like, take a picture of me when I'm not, when I'm not aware, and then they'll send it to me. And I'm just like, well, I mean, that's very, that's kind of creepy. I mean, good on you, but 
I mean, I'm not going to give you my phone number anytime soon. <laughs> um, I'm one of those creeps. Look at this, taking a picture of you and Christina <laughs> right now. I'm going to send it to you. Send it to Christina. Maybe she'll hang out with me more. I'm going to try this. We'll see what happens. <laughs> but guys, if you guys missed any of Daniel's season, check out this clip as well. All right. I'm not really sure what happens when you put an alien and a version together. So other than being a Canadian, what do you do? Eat maple syrup, you know? Are you interested in having sex in the near future? <laughs> you curious at all? You, you don't swing both ways? Mm -mm. I do. Only on Fridays, though. Oh, OK. Well, who are you looking out for in the house when the Friday? Wait, wait. Do you see why I had to have him on the show? Do you see? Well, yo, tell me what went through your mind during that scene. Bring us back. What's up, man? <laughs> You're making me blush here. Um, this, what happened there was I wasn't too interested. And so I thought, you know, I'd give her a little bit of a hard time about different topics and whatnot. And um, I just, you know, wanted to kind of put her on the hot seat and I just wanted to have fun with it because I didn't really care if I came across negative in any way and uh, but actually things actually the date actually went okay um I was just trying to make things awkward and whatnot <laughs> do you hear he's straightforward man that's awesome he sounds gonna make it awkward to see what happens which is great for tv oh guys also while we're here I want to make sure I'm getting uh all the points across I made sure I wanted to get and I want to talk to Ashley about being on a new show now the CW you guys own the teen market here for, for these shows and when they when you first you know went into Riverdale well in case you guys don't know, Riverdale is off the Archie comic books from back in the day, and which I read. My older brother read them, too. But hold up. Check out this clip so you guys get a clip so you know what I'm talking about with the show. Strictly in cold blood. Yeah. This should be fun. Yeah. Did you and Danny Darko kill them together? <laughs> Nothing this bad was ever supposed to happen here. Maybe there's another side to the story. There's a possibility Jason's murderer will soon be in this room. This whole car is a crime scene. No fingerprints. You're a little more dangerous than you look. Ooh, this looks a little, uh, a little racy for the C, uh, the CW. What's going on, Ashley? I mean, what is it going on? Let's be honest. Um, honestly. Being in Riverdale, because I was actually asked, like, where is Riverdale? And I, like, there's so many Riverdales everywhere. I just feel like we live in the middle of a forest where all the really inappropriate things can happen. Um, <laughs> <laughs> I mean, if we're just being real, it's kind of like, you know, deliverance for teenagers. But, you know, it's... <laughs> I just see her dropping a bomb like that and sipping the tea over here. <sighs> but let's talk about your character. Talk about Josie. Oh, Josie, you know, Josie is, among other things, she's fly, um, as well as a powerhouse. She's not like the original Josie from the comics um, in the sense that she's not as airheaded. You know, she, my Josie has her head screwed on tight. She knows exactly what she wants to do. She knows how she's going to succeed. And she just wants to bring her girls with her. And Archie definitely creates a problem with that because everybody thinks he's cute. And Josie ain't got time for the gingers. Oh, that's her right there. You have to watch the show tonight premiering to see her um, throughout the season as her character grows as more. And if you guys haven't looked at some of the clips like I have, I was dying. Are you like your character? Because she's got attitude. She said to my man, Archie, try hitting her, not gonna happen. Have you said that in real life? What's up? Um, I've said a lot of things that have kind of made people uncomfortable in real life. Um, I, you know, I am actually a lot like Josie. You know, I'm very confident, I'm very passionate, and I come from a small town. I'm from Kansas City, Missouri, originally. And it was the, the pond was a little too small for me, so I jet set all the way out to New York as quickly as I could. And I'm hoping that Josie gets that opportunity too, but she's kind of living vicariously through Veronica, who shows up from the Upper East Side as well, so. Yeah. <laughs> There's a lot going on here, people, ladies and gentlemen. As you know, with the tea, we have so many people, so many topics to get in through. And uh, and while I have Daniel here, I'm going to open up. I'm going to let you ladies say hi. Uh, I will let Cheryl jump in first. Cheryl, any questions for Daniel? He's anything you want to know in the world about Daniel, you can ask right now. Man, well, we loved you on Bachelor in Paradise. You really just became a shining star because I saw you on The Bachelorette too. But I mean, I just I loved getting to know you. But do you still talk to Chad? Because it seems like you guys were kind of buddies. Like, what's the situation now? Do you hang out? Um, so on Bachelorette, 
I, I spoke with everyone, and I was kind of the one of the guys that would was able to tolerate him the most. Um, I also I also like to poke the Chad there. I was playing around with him a lot as well. Um, so I think it kind of came across that we were more buddies than we actually were. Um, and then on Paradise, you know, I was like kind of excited to see him just because he's entertainment and we get to get some laughs together. Um, but obviously when everything all hell broke loose, you know, I can't support that behavior. And so he kind of stopped talking to, I think, everyone um, and blocked and deleted sort of thing on social media. And I was like, okay, well, whatever, you know, you're going to be a little baby about everything. And I don't really want to talk to him anymore as well because he just, I found that he, maybe it was too much, you know, had some issues that he had to work on. Um, but then in the fall, he kind of reached out to me on Instagram saying, hey, sorry for the way I behaved and whatnot. And, uh, you know, wanted to kind of touch base and sort of thing. And I said, well, thanks for, you know, saying hello. And that, but we haven't spoke since then. That was only a one time thing. So, no, I haven't. Uh, we do follow each other on social media, but we, uh, we don't, we don't stay in touch. All right, all right. See, so guys, it can get that real on the tee, telling you the behind the scenes of the stuff you watch every week. And I want to get into some of these topics as well. Christina brought up some good ones. One I can't wait to get your guys' opinions on. Now, Drake and JLo, right? These two, are they together? Are they not together? Would it work? Did it not work? Was it promotion? Was it not promotion? But the tea today, as Christina already let you guys know at the beginning of the show, is that Drake was actually spotted out. Check this out on wet paint. We're going to show you right now. Spotted out overseas having uh, dinner or lunch, allegedly from Complex Magazine, saying with a porn star. And, uh, and her name is Rosie Devine. Rosie Devine. I like that name. But now, is if Drake and J Lo are kind of open relationship, is this gonna push J Lo away more? Would maybe uh, this affect it so she won't even give him a shot? Um, I'm gonna let Nisha start this one off now. Now, what do you think? Do you think J Lo and Drake even have a shot of being together after this kind of thing leaks out? Honestly, I think it's so overrated in the media. I mean. I know there's controversy. Are they together? Aren't they together? And apparently, he bought her a hundred. 100,000K necklace from Tiffany. And I found that a bit funny because she sang that song, Love Don't Cost a Thing. So why is he <laughs> having to buy her something? I mean, shouldn't she say, hey, you can't buy my love? But she seemed to take that openly and happily. And, you know, they're making uh, a music video together as well. So I wonder, is it real? I think he's kind of just trying to get over someone and she was the quickest, fastest way to do it. Oh, never thought of J-Lo ever being a quick and fast. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. We'll see. I think, what about, Hillary, what do you think about this Drake, J-Lo, and now porn star triangle going on? You know, Drake has been known to hang out with a lot of porn stars. Maybe it was just dinner, but maybe not. And as far as J-Lo is concerned, I think it's a bit promotional because they'll, they'll have a, a single out together soon. So, yeah, I don't think it's for real, but we'll see. Oh, we'll see. Um, now, Daniel, you being uh, you and Drake have something in common. The ladies love you. You love the ladies. It goes round and round. Now, him actually hanging out with a porn star, would Daniel go that route? Would I hang out with a porn star? I mean, I, I wouldn't bring a porn star, a porn star home to my mother. Um, just not something I would do. I definitely wouldn't date one. Doesn't mean I would not take one home for the night. <laughs> no, I'm joking, but um, maybe not. Um, no, I don't know. I mean, Drake's on the road all the time. He's get he gets as many girls as he wants, probably, and he, it's just another girl for him. I think that it's probably not serious. And him and J Lo, I don't even know what's going on with them because I don't follow the news that much, as in uh, celebrity gossip. So, mm. no, understood. And Hillary, while I got Daniel in the hot seat, you can get him. You got thirty seconds. What do you got, Hillary? When are you coming to New York, Daniel? <laughs> I would love to come there. I was just there in uh, November. I really enjoyed it. A little too cold for me there right now. Vancouver is sitting around, I don't know, maybe 50, 60 Fahrenheit. So, and it's sunny right now, which is nice. So come here and I'll show you around. Oh, my. Wait, whoa, 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 whoa. Guys, we're here for celebrity gossip. We're talking. He, Daniel just brings the love out of you guys. Daniel, we got to hang out, too. You got to teach me a few things. What kind of magic is he throwing? I don't know. You guys, this is the tea. We are live 3 p.m. Monday through Friday. This is what we do. You never know what can happen. Until next time, drink a lot of tea. And as always, keep it positive. I'll see you soon. Bye. 
At the intersection of social and mass media, TV and the web, this is the Video Call Center.